feature-length documentary called Confessions of a Superhero uh, that was, I think, primarily filmed just a few blocks from where our office is here. We're on the Walk of Fame, and uh, your film is about the people who, four people in particular, uh, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and the Hulk, the Hulk who dress up and, and go to yeah. the, the Walk of Fame and take pictures with, yeah. the, with tourists. This was, uh, where did this come from? Because, I mean, am I correct in thinking this is the most watched documentary on Netflix? It's, it's, it, it was in the past. I don't know about now. Yeah. It was definitely one of the more popular ones on iTunes and, and Netflix and has kind of a, a cult following now. Um, it started when I was directing my first commercial, actually. It was for Ping Golf, mm -hmm. and it was on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And I was directing this commercial, and I kept seeing these characters, who I'd driven by many times, as all of us have, right by Hollywood and Highland, seeing these interesting characters dressed as movie superheroes or characters. And I was so distracted from directing the commercial, just looking at these guys, and they would come hang around, talk to them. I found them fascinating um, and wanted... I'm always curious about people and characters and, and subcultures, and I... I wanted to know who they were, sort of, no pun intended, but beneath the mask. Mm -hmm. Like, where do these people live? Are they married? Are they not married? What, what, what are their issues? What do they deal with? How did they get here? And I really started right away. Like, within two weeks, we started filming it. Filmed them over about two years or so. Really? This was all on your own dime? You just started all filming? All on our own dime, but it was in our backyard and digital... Um, filming and Final Cut was starting to come out into its own, so it wasn't expensive to do. Mm -hmm. Drive up the street and film them. Um, so there were some investors, but it, we we kind of just went and made it. How did you uh, and, and and make initial contact with uh, some of these, uh, some of your contacts or some of your your my characters? Yeah, your fo yeah, your focus characters. Well, Superman, who's sort of the Christopher Dennis is his real name, who's sort of the mayor of all the characters. He was the guy that kind of came up to me when I was in between setups of filming this commercial. So right away, I you could just feel his presence, like he was the guy. <laughs> hey, look at me. <laughs> yeah. And so I started with him, and he really made the introductions to the other characters. Um, and we sort of, quote unquote, casted from there, starting with him. Mm -hmm. And and he introduced us to a lot of people to choose from. I wanted to keep it in the superhero world. I didn't want to have you know, a Marilyn Monroe and a mm -hmm. Charlie Chaplin. I thought there was something interesting and metaphorical about them all being sort of superheroes. I gotta say, uh, I encourage anyone, I highly encourage you to watch this film. You can watch it on Netflix really easily. Um, it's not necessarily an uplifting film. No, it's kind of the, the film's really kind of the boulevard of broken dreams. It's um, people coming to Hollywood. It's very difficult to quote unquote make it. And these guys I thought chose an unusual way. I mean, most of them are actors. That's what they want to do. And they are dressing up as characters and sometimes I think lose themselves in that character as opposed to pounding the pavement and um, going out on auditions because, you know, as a tourist, you think about Hollywood and Highland, the Walk of Fame, but that's not really the movie business. No. That's like going to Times Square in New York. It's so producers and directors aren't driving by there to find talent. So it was, it was a exploration, really, of following your dreams and how you do it, whichever way you do it. And I thought that was relatable, um, whether they did it the right way or the wrong way. How long did uh, you know principal photography last? Well, you know, we didn't shoot it like a scripted feature where it was consecutive. It's we'd shoot for a few days, then we'd stop down. We'd go back a week later or a month later and bounce around. So it was. Probably over two to two and a half years we shot it, but I was directing a lot of projects in between mm -hmm. and around it. Mm -hmm. Which is... And the reason I it took so long is because with a character-driven film, you know, you want to spend enough time with them to see their life unfold. Whereas if I just spent a week with them or a month with them, I'm not getting really that journey or that arc that we needed for the film.